Here is a quick guide to using the Keyboard Brush modifier in the Affinity apps. First, let's select a brush base tool, so I can use B to select the Paintbrush tool. Now, ordinarily, to change hardness and width, we would either go up to the Context toolbar here, or we would use the square bracket keys. But what we can also do is hold down Control Option on Mac or Control Alt on Windows, and then holding left click, we can drag left to decrease width, right to increase it, up to decrease hardness or down to increase it. So very quickly, for example, we could create a completely soft edged brush that's quite large. Then we just let go of the Control and Option modifiers or Control Alt on Windows. However, this is where it gets really interesting. We can actually control more brush parameters using this modifier. Here's a great example. So let's move down here and I'll just decrease my brush width. Let's say, for example, that I want to add some shadows underneath these people's feet. So let's go to the layers panel, add a pixel layer underneath our two cutout layers like so. And now what I need to do is make my brush an oval shape. So I can hold Control Option on Mac, Control Alt on Windows, and instead of click dragging, I just need to single click with the left mouse button, and that enables me to toggle across to shape and spacing. So left click and drag, and left and right will decrease and increase shape respectively, and then up and down will decrease and increase spacing. So I want to go for some tight spacing and also a shape of roughly maybe 20%. But now we also need to rotate the brush. So we want to single click with our left mouse button once more to get to rotation. And now I can just left click and drag to set my rotation to 25%. So now I'm free to just very quickly block in some shadows underneath my two pedestrian cutouts here. And there we go, that's a really quick guide of how to use the keyboard brush modifier. A single click once again gets us back to width and hardness. If you want to quickly reset the brush, I can recommend going to the brushes panel and either choosing some round brushes from the basic panel or we also have a masking category, and this contains preset round brushes which have very tight spacing, so they are ideal for general masking and other types of brushwork. So, hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.